Uh, I'm Dr. Bileka. Uh, my topic is to assess the knowledge and attitudes related to STD and HIV AIDS in late adolescent school children in selected schools in Southern Sri Lanka. This is a descriptive cross-sectional study. Sexually transmitted diseases and HIV remains a major public health problem worldwide. Day by day, the young generation are becoming victims of HIV and STI in our country. Adolescents experience an upsurge of sexual feelings, which is a crucial time to provide sexual health education. Prevention of STIs and HIV AIDS starts with education and information. While the educational input will depend on a person's current knowledge and attitudes. Therefore, this study aimed to assess the knowledge and attitudes related to STD and HIV AIDS in advanced level school children in Southern province. This is a descriptive cross-sectional study using a self-administered questionnaire among 270 advanced level students of selected MOH area through multi-stage random sampling. In the research section, you can see the mean age of participants was 17.5, while the majority were aware of the existence of STDs, it is 93%, and 88% aware about the HIV and AIDS. However, only 30% among the participants knew that STIs can be asymptomatic. Modes of transmissions were known by 64%, despite 50% had misconception regarding HIV and STI transmission. 70% did not aware that stillbirths and miscarriages as complications of STI. Knowledge on high-risk groups was poor. As you can see, only 42% were aware on availability of effective treatment for STI and HIV. In general, 48% had a good knowledge, while 39% were having fair and 13% having poor level of knowledge on STD and HIV AIDS. The main sources of information were school education, electronic media, and the peers. The majority had overall negative attitude towards HIV and STD. Overall favorable attitude had significant association with adequate overall knowledge with the p-value of 0 0.03, 34. Uh, so I would like to conclude that majority of adolescent school children in selected MOH area did not possess a good knowledge or favorable attitudes on STDs and HIV AIDS. So strengthening of life skill based school health education programs on STD and HIV AIDS with more emphasis on identified deficient areas will be required as the education is the key in prevention of STI and HIV. Thank you.